and welcome to HITC Sport. Jeez, English football's in some state at the minute. The FA appointing managers every couple of years, the national team getting knocked out of tournaments to countries with populations the size of Sheffield, and a complete golden generation wasted. I have no idea what the problem is, but let's go ask a few fans why. What do you think of the England national team? English team? Yeah, I mean, I think uh, they're terrible. It's good play, it's good, uh, have a good play. Yeah. No, come on, don't lie, man. They're, they lost to Iceland in the Euros. Uh, Obviously, Iceland was a was a low moment. Yeah, the entire nation of Ireland found it hilarious. Um, it's not funny. You, tell me, if the unthinkable did happen today and Malta won, <laughs> that would be disaster. And then, then I'm turning Irish like you. All right, so boys, are Malta going to win today? Yes. yes. I think all three of you are liars. You sport Arsenal. Yep. Does it pain you that 15% of the England team is made up of Spurs players? Are Malta going to win? No. It's, the, it's, the, it's a training game, isn't it? It's really boring, to be honest. Passionate of this. We've, we've come here and we've walked out at half time against the side Malta. They're, they're not a, a, even close to the calibre of England, yet we've, we've sat there for 45 minutes and it, it's just it's a disgrace, honestly. It's, it's an absolute joke. I think the media makes it very difficult for for the England manager. I think they're, they're desperate for the England manager to sort of um, not succeed at all. It, it happened with Sam Allardyce, and you know they they got him straight away. They've done it all the time. They've done it with um, Capello. You know, it's it's very disappointing. European media don't do anything like what we do to. They Our English the manager, they do the opposite, they support their teams. We need to stop portraying ourselves as being a country at the elite level, because we're not. I mean, I've been there for many years. We need passionate players in our England side, you know, and that's, that's what I miss. There's lots of young children that have come here with their parents because it's a cheap day out, they've lowered the prices for the tickets, yet nothing's changed. You know, we're watching millionaire players who, who don't want to play for the shirt. It's, and I think personally, that, that's the problem. It seems like there's a lot of politics within English football to where they can't actually drop these type of players, whether it be for branding or for other types of reasons. But I believe we should stop with football first instead of sponsorships and stuff like that, because it's not fair on the fans. You see like the likes of Germany, they, they left out Marco Royce. Like, if they can leave out a player with that type of calibre, why does it? Why do we have to start taking players who've been injured all year? It's boring. We always believe, don't you, when it comes to these campaigns, that um, you'd hopefully get to the sort of knockout stages and uh, hopefully progress. Right now, even under Roy Hodgson during the summer, were you believing? Well, a bit. I think he was afraid to make um, some s difficult decisions. That was his problem. When you watched first half against Iceland, it was horrible. On the second half, when you expect they will be much better, it was even worse. The coach, coach or manager is supposed to make some decisions. He never done nothing. Nothing ever improves. The media sort of hypes everyone up. I mean, every time we come to a tournament, it's like, okay, England are going to do really well. But why will they do really well? This is how we win cup. Come on, Malta. <laughs> how many games have Malta won in their history? Is it? Can you count them on two hands? I would. Uh, I'm guessing yes. Yes, I can count them on my hands and on other things as well. 